And we're back. Boy, have I missed you. Onigashi. He's gonna grab Zoro and take him downstairs. And Luffy's gonna fight Kaido on his own. Okay, they're just catching us up. It has been three weeks. Big Mom has another soul, and it's lightning. Can't that just infinitely replenish Zeus? But she don't rock with Zeus no more. Yeah, it's a little too late for my guy. Don't worry, sign a contract with the Straw Hats. They'll take good care of you. He's gonna do something about the cloud? Does he have enough energy to transport him somewhere? He's back up. Good God. Luffy just got a shit ton stronger. He can code his attacks with conquerors on top of Ryu. Who would have saw that coming? Law is the ultimate escape card. Nami scream. Okay, I imagine Page One's chasing after them still, right before he attacks them or gets a chance to hit them. That was crazy. Zeus is gonna come in and Nami's gonna try to make him hers again. Don't forget, we still have Sasaki and Frankie to worry about. Who's who in Jinbei? Robin and Black Maria, Sanji and... I don't know. Maybe Sanji and Queen now, finally. The bigger the smile, the bigger the risk. Oh yeah, he's doing it now. That's what that noise is. Oh. He's just getting the hang of it. And now Kaido's his goal to emphasize that he's doing the same thing. I guess they didn't want to show us that before. Oh my God. Where does this put Luffy, bro? How much stronger exactly did he? I mean, he's competing with Kaido now. Probably still doesn't stand a chance without something else happening, but he he's going back and forth at least. Oh, right, Sanji may run into Kanjiro since he's gonna go help Momonosuke and Yamato and Shinobu. Damn. What's the plan here? Yamato's going to the rooftop. Protect Momonosuke and Shinobu real quick. And then she's gonna make her way to the rooftop. Okay, so Luffy is gonna get a little bit of help. Uh, yeah, I still think he kinda needs it, but I, I love the confidence in the guy. <laughs> the top of his head is the weak spot. even like using their moves properly it's just hitting them with it are you Ooh. that'll do it oh my god how many enemies have been like taken over to the other side now Old man. I'm older than Usa. Oh, by the way, my birthday's today. I'm 20 now. That's funny. This came out yesterday though, so technically we were the same age as the release of this episode. Okay, so I imagine the Kibidango doesn't work on people stronger than her. Or I guess with more will, because I imagine the people she switched to her side are stronger than her. Damn, I don't know. I think there's just like a certain level where, okay, the Kibidango doesn't work anymore. Oh, yeah. Observations? Ooh, they explode. That is clean. Yeah, when Usa puts his mind to it, he could get it done. Pine cones. Expl everything explodes. Okay, no need for Zeus. Nice. It'd be clean if he came through it. Don't celebrate too early? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Run! <laughs> you gotta, I'm surprised y'all ain't been running. There we go. Oh, only the smile for this. Okay. Damn. That punch. And then he. That is so crazy to me. He had a counterattack directly after. 
Yeah, kid is like that. And now Big Mom went all to smoke with him. Uh-oh. Wait, Otama! Otama's there! Halfway. Okay. Oh! Oh! Wow. I know this is act three, but it feels like part two because of those eye catchers. Damn, those were cool. That might be the highlight. <laughs> In the world alone, man. Otama! Stop her! <laughs> it really worked. <laughs> She's so fixated on one thing that her attitude can change really quickly depending on just what's in front of her. Keep Otama in front of her. I don't think it's gonna work the whole time, but this is, this is good. So even though she got her memory back, she still appreciates Otama. Wow. <laughs> oh, this thing is up to something. Oh, she went into mother mode. Okay, so this it's not just Otama, but specifically Otama because she took care of Big Mom. <laughs> Otsuru. Oh, is that Kinemon's wife? Prometheus is not having it. Wow. Ooh. This is such a tight spot for Big Mom if her memory is really getting away like this. She's not gonna come all the way over to our side, but. No way. And it was holding a baby? God damn. Her mind is no longer on the fight, but on the people that helped her. Now that she heard this, she's gonna instantly react to it by attacking Kaido's subordinates. Paige, wanna get the. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. My God. Nigga. Oh, he thinks Big Mom's on their side. He's about to get one shot it. Is it going to be a strong right? Is he just dead? Big Mom making sense? Oh my god! Why does that look like the Guru Guru no me? Yo! Okay, huh. You best get out of there. Big Mom wants to smoke with everyone right now. That's a clean shot. Oh my God. Why are they stopping on that like she's gonna do something? That looked way too badass. Realistically speaking, Ulti's not putting a fight up against Big Mom, but that last shot was kind of menacing. I know she's serious, but you know? I don't know how effective this will be, but as long as Otama's in front of Big Mom, she kind of forgets about the whole fight in Onigashima and like the town of Okabore being burned down takes priority in her mind instead of trying to defeat Luffy, Kid, Law, and Zoro and kill her. And this is what they call mother mode. Interesting. We have some sort of scapegoat to keep Big Mom occupied. Maybe this gives a chance for Killer and Kid to 
catch some breath. Well, no, Killer's fighting Hawkins. Let's get a chance for a Kid to maybe sneak attack Big Mom or do something. Cause they almost had her once upon a time, but Prometheus ended up saving her. And now we're here. Besides that, so much is going on right now. I imagine that fight's gonna be interrupted. Don't know by who, but Big Mom's not gonna knock out the rest of the Toby Ropo and give everyone else that's about to fight them an easy way out. I don't think that's about to happen. It's just, this mother mode she has is very interesting. And then Yamato said she's about to go confront her old man. She's gonna fight Kaido alongside Luffy. Well, hopefully she gets up there in time. I don't know if Luffy's getting overwhelmed, but how much longer can somebody who's just freshly learned how to coat his attacks in the color of the Supreme King hold his own against such a veteran Yonko. He's doing a good job. My question is just how long exactly can he keep it up? Will he go down before Yamato gets up there or will she make it a time to where the fight becomes a two on one? And then I feel like we have the advantage because Yamato has a devil fruit we haven't seen yet. And she's clearly very strong. But anyways, I hope Big Mom stays occupied and I hope Kid gets a real good sneak attack on her. Anything to get her out of here and give us a chance to win, anything.